Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's card is a recessed panel card, and this I did in a class last week, and it's really a very simple technique, but kind of a little pop of wow. And uh, you can see that the designer series paper kind of looks like it's recessed um, into the card. And so I thought I'd do a real quick video to share how this technique is done. It's using our fresh fruit stamp set and this is in our annual catalog and it's getting ready to retire. So if you really love the fresh fruit set as well as the fruit stand designer series paper, they are both leaving us. So we will have to say goodbye to them at the end of May. So let's get started on this card. I have a piece of shimmery white cardstock, and I'm going to use my Peekaboo Peach ink pad and ink up. No, I'm, I don't want to do the peach. I want to do the sentiment. So every all the stamps that I'm using actually come in this stamp set. So I'm going to stamp Love You More on that one. And then I have just a scrap piece of Peekaboo Peach. And this is what I'm going to actually ink up and stamp my little peach on there. So I have a little peach. And then I also have Pear Pizzazz to do the top of the peach. So I'm going to ink that up. This is step uh, stamping two separate pieces, then we're going to cut those out and layer them together. Okay, so those two will get cut out, and I do not have one cut ahead of time, which I should have, but I'm just really quick going to zip around here and cut the topper out. And I will make sure that you guys have the dimensions to create this card once I have my video done. I will put those in the caption. Okay, so a little hand cut on the top and then we're gonna cut the peach out. Now you'll see some areas on this particular stamp set that looks like the stamp did not quite pull up the ink and that is the way it's supposed to be. There's actually some natural shading on this stamp set. So um, don't think that there's a defect in your stamp. That is the correct way it's supposed to look so that actually the peach looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so I'm gonna take another strip of shimmery white cardstock Add some adhesive down the edge and a strip of our Peekaboo Peach cardstock and just run that down so it almost like it creates a little bit of a of a border there. Same with my stamped piece. A little border on this one you don't want it too much because you want to be able to see your designer paper through the little um, almost window that you're going to create here. So just enough that you have a little bit of a strip. Then I'm going to come back with my actual card base. Fold that in half and about an inch from the edge I kind of used my this piece of shimmery white is an inch wide by five and a half long. So I kind of used that as my guideline. Took a little piece of, uh oh, I must have ink on my finger. That's okay, that's gonna get covered up. You guys know that happens to you too, where you thought you were being very careful, but suddenly some ink shows up where it doesn't belong. So an inch in from the edge, I'm gonna run my designer series paper and I want it to be attached flat to the card base. Trim that down just a smidge. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do that. Now, on this side, we're going to, on the panel that's the shimmery white, we're going to put some dimensionals. You don't need a bunch of them, although they're all going to come off together. I like to do each corner 
and then maybe two in the center on that one and the same on the piece that you just stamped love you more same deal you're going to put some dimensionals on the corner you don't need a ton of them a little bit more since this is a wider panel you can put a couple extra on there peel those backings off it's, i don't see where i have ink but who knows I just want to be careful when I'm actually touching the pieces that are showing. I don't want to have ink on those. And then I'm just going to line that up with my corner and my top edge and attach that panel. Same thing with the larger panel. Peel these guys off. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking. Got those all. And then I'm just gonna line that up same with the top edge and the side. And that, my friends, is how you do a recessed panel card. So it looks like that piece may be folded down in, but it's actually just done with some dimensionals. Then I'm going to, um, where my, there they are, put some on my peach here. I'm gonna have to snip and use some of those little guys there. All right, peach on there, and same with my little top. And this is about as quick and easy as it gets. Such a fun card, and that shimmery white just kind of gives it a little pop how did i do that oh i had that cut a little a little tighter on there let's do that a little bit of shimmer i i doubt it's picking up here on the on the video but yeah a little bit of shimmer a little bit of sparkle and a super super quick and easy card with kind of a little pop of wow so thanks so much for joining me you guys have a great week and i will see you next week for Movie Monday.